Hey everyone, it's Eldora. I'm just out doing my morning ritual of grounding, grounding to Mother Earth. And this has been the single most potent exercise I had that has helped me through my awakening process to handle the intense energies, to handle all the upgrades, to handle the shifts, and to really um, shift from requiring food and constant energy being fed to me to just shifting to this constant source of streaming life force, meaning opening up all your channels to constantly stream prana energy or life force energy and energy from the earth so that we are less dependent on food and drinks and energy from outside sources. So I have not grounded today. I'm gonna to do this with you. I invite you all to do it with me and um, I'm going to do it in the long, longer process, which still only takes, I would say, under 10 minutes. But the good news is I do this every day when I shower. Most people have a grounding practice. They do it either when they're driving. For me, I find when, it's, when I'm in the shower, morning and night, or even just once a day, it doesn't matter. I like to ground twice a day at least because the results are just so magnificent. It's so potent that grounding has become one of my favorite things to do. And I feel very different when I don't ground. I feel very ungrounded pretty much. So I will lead you through this. Think of it as a meditation. And at the end, I will also tell you how you can um, improv to do it real quick in the shower. I just want to show you these beautiful lamb, these beautiful sheep that are grazing here. Let me go this way. I'm in a beautiful mountain in Asheville. I don't know if you can see the sheep. And I don't know if there's a way to switch over to the other side. But they're all, oh, there they are. Just so peaceful here, so peaceful. We have an Airbnb on the mountain. And it's just, we're just spending a few, uh, about a week here. Today is day two. It's very, very healing, very excited to be in this healing um, land. So let's, um, and also before we start, I just wanted to say anytime you can to get your feet, to get your feet on Mama Earth. In modern day, we're always wearing shoes. We're always wearing, you know, insulation and there's not enough connection with Mother Earth. When we connect with Mother Earth, we connect with the magnetic forces. And this is actually how humans were designed. Back in the day, people didn't wear shoes all the time. Right now we need to, and especially for people like us living in Toronto, living in Canada, where there's snow and in the winter it becomes harder to connect to the ground. We need to find an improv and find new ways to do this. Um, even if it's for 10 minutes a day to really get your feet in the mud, in the earth, and pull up all of that energy. All right, so I'm going to ground with you. Taking a few moments to find a comfortable spot. <sighs> Whether seated or lying down, I usually like to either be seated or standing for this. So seated would be ideal for this one, if that's okay with you. Closing your eyes and taking a few deep breaths in and out. In and out. Getting very present to this present moment, feeling the surface beneath you that's supporting you right now. Feeling the wind, even the gentle wind, the gentle air caressing your cheeks. And tuning into anything around you, the sense of smell, the sense of touch, the slightest energy that you can feel around you the taste in your mouth, breathing all of that in as you get present to this present moment. <sighs> With a hint of a smile of gratitude on your face for this incredible journey that you are 
partaking in. <sighs> breathing in gratitude. Breathing out gratitude. So focusing on your, there's two ways to do it. Focusing on your sacral chakra, so your second chakra, which is just under your belly button. And imagine facing down a straw, a big column or a straw with your imagination alone. Imagine this straw or this column of light coming out, coming down from your sacral chakra going down towards your feet and connecting to the earth star chakra that is about a foot under your feet. So both of these chakras connect and this column of light, this big empty hollow column of light goes down through your powerful imagination alone. That is all that you need right now. Sending this column of light down as it goes down. Piercing through the floor beneath you. Going down to the earth beneath you. And then sending it down through imagination. Down through the tar, through the road. Through the layers of soil under Mother Earth. Soil and crystals and minerals. And setting the intention for this column now to go down through the water and anything down, to go down at the speed of light. And imagine it now going so deep into Mother Earth's surface that it starts approaching the central core of Mother Earth. And as it reaches there, I like to spread this column into roots of light. <sighs> roots of light connecting to perhaps your favorite crystal there, your favorite crystal mine, whether it's tourmaline or jade or clear quartz or amethyst. Taking a moment here to establish that connection through your imagination. These roots of light soaking and sinking into these crystal beds in Mother Earth's iron core. And then suddenly feeling all of these roots lighting up with energy. My legs, my feet are shaking because I've established that connection. And then slowly starting to drink this up, slurp this energy up like you are slurping up liquid from a straw. Slurping up this liquid healing golden energy from Mother Earth's crystal core through your roots of light, through your grounding column, all the way up to your feet. This light, this healing liquid light going up through your ankles, your shins, your calves, your knees, your thighs hmm. this healing energy swirling through your energy centers your chakras your abdomen your intestines going up through your heart your chest Mother Earth's energy that is always free, freely available to every single one of us. This liquid golden healing energy going up, 
through your hips, your heart, your neck, your shoulders, down your arms. <sighs> and sensing an opening above your head where your crown chakra opens up like a lotus. And sending this energy down from Mother Earth's crystal core up to the central sun. And bringing down these potent energies from the central sun through your crown, through your body, through your feet, through your grounding column, and sending it down to Mother Gaia's crystal core. <sighs> You are now a bridge of all that is above and all that is below. Spending a few more minutes here, just doing, repeating that a few times. Breathing in this energy from earth all the way up through your grounding column and sending it up. And pulling down this prana, this life force energy from the central sun, down through your crown, down through your body, through your feet, down to Mother Earth's crystal core. Setting an automatic dial on this process for the next few minutes, and with intention alone, imagining this little dial with a manual and an automatic button and you turn it to automatic so that you let this flow take place automatically. <sighs> Something that I like to do when I'm here is I imagine myself going down through this column of light. I imagine myself, my physical body going down and just sleeping or just lying down or just crouching in child's pose in Mother Earth's womb. Feeling so safe, so loved, so supported. Thank you, Mother Gaia, for all that you provide us with. The nourishment, all the various crops, food, vegetables, nutrition. Thank you for being so kind, so loving. And please forgive us for trampling on your boundaries, trampling on your energies and teach us and guide us. Show us the way constantly. Thank you, Mother Gaia, for all that you do. Feeling that energy, that golden, healing, liquid light. Buzzing in every atom of your being, every molecule of your being. Feeling so safe, so nourished, so supported, so loved, so at peace. Staying here for as long as you like and then coming back, coming back to wherever you started this process, back to your seat. And with your eyes still closed, another thing I like to do is I like to imagine a garbage chute opening up from my root chakra, but not going down, not going down in the direction of the column of light, 
but instead this is going at a 45 degree angle, let's say, away from my column and going down to Mother Earth, but not, not too deep. Let's say two or three kilometers into her surface. And sending any excessive energies, any energies not serving your highest good, any energies of anxiety or depression or lack, I send these energies down to Mother Earth now through my garbage chute for transmutation and transformation into light. This is what our mother does for us. She's constantly taking what no longer serves us and transforming it into light. So sending this, taking a few seconds here to feel the energy moving. And once again, putting an automatic setting on the dial for this to happen for the next 10, 20 minutes or as long as you need. And connecting this garbage chute to the grounding column so that both processes are taking place simultaneously. Imagining your aura now this egg-shaped energy around you and pushing it out on all sides to your left, let's say a few feet to your left, a few feet to your right, a few feet up and a few feet down. And sucking up pulling in Mother Gaia's energy, healing energy, through your grounding column. Breathing it into your being and breathing it out into your aura. <sighs> Filling your aura with golden, healing, light energy. the energy of protection, the energy of nourishment, the energy of love, filling your aura with as much of this energy as you like. And when you feel like you have filled your aura to your heart's desire. With your imagination, you connect your auric field to your grounding cord. And you imagine a shield around your aura, a golden shield or a blue shield, a cobalt blue, whatever color resonates with you today. It can be a different color on different days. And connecting this shield to your grounding cord to power up this shield. Shields up. Shield activate. And programming this shield, programming this shield to satisfy your needs of today. I program my shield to constantly be a source of energy flowing in to my aura. I program my shield to only allow the energies of unconditional love and similar vibrations to come in through my shield into my aura. 
also programming my shield so that any vibrations not of the vibration of love and compassion and forgiveness to bounce off my shield and go down to Mother Earth for transmutation to love. Feeling this shield, feeling this warmth around you like a little cocoon. Feeling so loved. <sighs> thanking Mother Gaia, thanking your guides, thanking the universe for this infinite source of energy. <sighs> and when you're ready, opening your eyes. How do you guys feel? <sighs> so you can do this anytime. You can do this while driving, while um, just before you get into a mall. Anytime your energy feels depleted, you can do this multiple times a day. Grounding is the simplest solution to every energetic discomfort that you feel. Now, I, will like, I would like to add that sometimes we think we're grounded, but we, because of our imagination, we don't, like in the beginning, you might have trouble sending your grounding column down. You might have trouble imagining. And that's okay and that's entirely normal. So there's something that my guides showed me a few weeks ago, actually a few months ago, which I myself have been following and it's been so easy and that's how I do it in the shower. So first of all, when I shower, that is my cleanse. I shower twice a day sometimes because a shower to me symbolizes just a complete energetic cleanse. So I imagine the shower, like the hot water on my body, I imagine that as the central sun. And I imagine light, central sun, healing energy flowing down through the water and going into every pore of my being. While I do that, I imagine myself standing on Mother Earth, like a cartoon, like imagine a, what are they called? Those little, um, when you draw a little diagram, a diagram. So think of yourself just with imagination standing on Mother Earth's surface. And when you start putting your grounding, when you start lowering your grounding column, through your mind's eye, you can literally pull that column down into Mother Earth if you have trouble imagining it. Did you get that? So you're standing on Mother Earth's surface and most of the time your grounding cord, you'll see it coming down, you'll see it going down through the Earth's surface and then sometimes you'll have, you may have trouble taking it all the way down into her iron core crystal. So all you do is you literally pull it down. You pull it down and then you establish that connection. You imagine your roots spreading out you stay there for a minute to feel that warmth. You slurp it up like a thirsty sponge slurping up this energetic treat that is available to you. Just like you slurp up sunshine like I'm doing right now. Whew, we are so blessed. And then you bring that light in again through your um, cartoons uh, diagram. You just Imagine it coming up through your column, entering your body. But just remember, it's imagination and feeling. So first is the imagination and then just tuning into the feeling of warmth. Feeling. It's a very real thing. This is something that um, is the 101 of the awakening process. Like that's the first thing that we learn, we are taught, we must be doing. And if you aren't, this is um, my gift to you even going out in the sunshine and just opening up your chakras and with intention alone saying, Father, Son, send me healing. And just opening up your chakras, like it's all just open, be open and feel the sunlight healing you. Just like when you go in the ocean, 
these are all gifts of Mother Earth to humanity. My feet are so happy right now. <laughs> so happy. So the reason I'm actually grounding right now is I have uh, an energy update that's come in. It's an angelic update. And usually before I make my YouTube videos, I ground and um, cleanse my energy and I activate myself. So I came out to do it and I thought to myself, why not just make a video here to, um, you know, teach this to others who may not already be grounding. So grounding, connecting, uh, so garbage chute, grounding, you don't need to do it all at the same time, but these are three different techniques I've taught you. Garbage chute to get rid of stale energy, 45 degree angle away from the base of your spine, going down to Mother Earth for transmutation, transformation. Garbage, uh, sorry, the grounding cord going down into Mother Earth, feeling the connection, pulling up this energy, lowering yourself into the womb of Mother Earth if you have to, to just sleep there, lie there, lie there like a little baby. That's I do that and I love it. I feel so loved by Mama Gaia. And, um, and then your aura, creating that golden, like infusing your aura with Mother Earth's golden energy. And then creating a golden or a cobalt blue or a pink shield around your aura. And programming your shield and connecting it to your grounding column to activate the shield. It's more powerful when you do it that way. Most people will just do a shield and then uh, there's a lot of different techniques, but this I find is the most powerful technique to activate your shield by connecting it to your grounding column. And constantly being open in a state of receptivity and soaking in the magic that surrounds you. Sending love from the beautiful mountains of Asheville. I'm going to be going back up to my Airbnb and making my angelic update, energy update for the 1111 portal. So much coming through that I'm going to concise it to, you know, for to one video and then maybe make another video in a few days because there's too much for one video. I don't want to make a three hour video. <laughs> I love you guys. Let me know how this went for you. Sending you so much love. Take care.